Death Wing. Alright, let's try Paladin. I haven't really enjoyed Paladin. Everybody's Paladin deck is Hammers and... and all this good shit. We never... well, I got a Hammer the other day. Bet was Will Red get four wins. Yeah, we said it to, uh... We still tried to believe. We tried to believe in the heart of the cards. Um, I guess Penflinger. These are all pretty bad. <clears throat> Paladin Penflinger's got to be worse than in classes with good spells. I kind of like Ogre a lot more than <laughs> Thresh. I don't like Thresh, man. I don't know what it is. It just never hits two minions unless your opponent plays it, and then it will chew you up is how it feels. <laughs> I'll pass on it. Oh, Carousel Griffin. That's a good one. Flinger is good against Paladins. Um, Flinger? Uh, it's good in decks that have good spells that replace themselves. So if you get like Hand of a Doll or Hand of a Doll, it could be okay. If you're a Mage deck and you've got like Primordial Glyph or you're a Priest deck and you have things like Thought Steal or Renew, uh, then I like it because you're. You're not just losing like a, an entire card to deal one damage, but you're developing like multiple things. If you're like a, a, a shaman and you have serpent portal where like you're doing one and then you're playing a spell that summons a minion and returns your penflinger back to your hand, so you're not really like casting necessarily like an arcane intellect all the time, but you're still developing while getting value out of the Penflinger. Paladin doesn't have a lot of that, so I don't like it as much. In terms of against Paladins, it depends on your class, right? If you're a mage, you don't need the ping quite as much. If you're a priest, you might need it a little more, or a shaman. Um, if you're a warlock, but if you're a rogue or a druid, um, you probably want like like a, a bigger body that can contest the board a little more quickly, I would guess. But all cards can kind of be applicable at different times. And Penflinger is better than a lot of like out-and-out -out dog shit, so... Hand of a doll or hand of a doll? Both. The retire refund is in play? That seems backwards. I don't think the point should be refunded. For future bets, obviously. Yeah, I just, uh, it's more that I could just retire it and we could just not bet, or we can play it out and people can bet on whatever, you know, the stipulations are. Tough choice. No gold cards. I kind of want a golden Eldor attendant, but I don't want to craft one. I've been playing Pure Paladin five or six games every week for my stupid quest, and I, it bothers me that I don't have a golden one in my deck, but... Still. Uh, pretty easy Vile Fiend here. Eldor attendant's good? Yeah, I think Eldor attendant's fine. Uh, one mana, one threes in Paladin get a lot better if you can get Hand of a Doll, or... If you're curving out with a Vile Fiend or something like that, if you, if you pick up the Librams, particularly the one cost Librum or the two cost Librum, you can bring it down to one. Spamming that repeatedly is a pretty sweet deal. Um, they're all pretty reasonable though, all the, all the uh, Librams. I don't know if there's really a bad one. Even the weapon, the new weapon I like. Snack run. Don't mind if I do. It's not Shay, man, it's Shaman. I think you're probably incorrect about that. The Vile Fiend is actually so good. I feel like it's been a huge part of me controlling the board during my last arena run. Yeah, it's one of the best cards in the meta. I think it took a little while for people to realize how good it was. Like this, like taking this, taking a Proto Drake over this is probably wrong. A lot of the time. I don't know what its played win rate is. It's a little harder to, to say, too. Because if it comes out on curve, it just feels, a lot of times, close to unbeatable. If it comes out any turn after, then on turn one, going second, or two, or turn two, going first, then it feels a lot worse. It's got a 61% played win rate, so it's, like, just short of, like, the absolute broken stuff. Like... You know, the the first day of schools, the hand of the dolls, you know, the Sunkeeper Tareems and the key masters and the and all that. And then it's like that next tier down, probably. Uh head nick. What up head? I don't know what to take here. Are there any cool cards? We could get dino size. Five or more. We can get Libram of Justice. We can get uh Clangor, which is actually kinda good if we can corrupt that. 
I kind of like it. I'd like to build a, a, an actual interesting paladin deck. If you have some form of Dino Synergy, Vile Fiend alone is busted, but it's nutty if you have Synergy as well. Yeah, it's just a 2 mana 3 5. And this is kind of what I talk about when, uh, you know, certain cards like 2 mana 2 2s or 3 mana 3 3s or 4 mana 3 4s. It's like you can't spend 4 mana on a 3 4 when, when your opponent's spending 2 mana on a 3 5. With Rush. Just hard. Although I'm going to spend 6 mana on a 3-4. I should probably just take Gift of Luminance, but that's not what I want to do right now. Double Aldor? I should have crafted them in gold. Like a Shaw man. Sounds... But I won't tell anyone it's wrong or right, because I've never met a Shaw man in person to tell me. I think uh, the internet collectively has decided that Shaman is okay and Shaman is okay. And I actually pronounce it, don't tell Twitch chat everyone, but I actually pronounce it Shaman in, in my everyday life. But I just, you know, I watched Raven and Soddle saying Shaman on the Blizzard podcast and I thought it was so cute. Are you kidding me? Me? I never joke about anything ever. Uh, let's go Hothead over Kaka. Kaka head. Wow, got the Libram. That's cool. I actually don't like uh, Silvermoon Portal. If we can get new Yogg-Saron, <laughs> I'm going to slam it. And we're going to cast Libram 15 times a game. It's going to be great. Uh, I actually like Steel Rager. It's the type of card where right now I see it and I think, oh, bummer, Steel Rager. And then I draw it and I kill a Tar Creeper or a Vile Fiend I couldn't kill otherwise. And I think, okay, fine. It's pretty good. Oh, yuck. Um, I guess Storm Watcher. Hammer of the Nabu, man. Good lord. Oh, this Aldor is a trap. Like when you drafted that mage, it didn't offer any secrets and you took the synergy card. I think the Aldor attendance, the first one, I can't remember the second one. I think the first one was the right pick. Um, just on stats alone. I think the 1-3 is good for Paladin. Um, <clears throat> but now that we have a, a Libram, especially early in the draft, I think it's more of a reasonable pick. If it's pick 23 or something, you don't have a single Libram, it's like, ah, you don't have any options to get it. It might be a Libram against uh, a Steed, and you got to take the Steed anyway, but now it's like you have, you have a lot of flexibility. Now, we did pick one up, but we can prioritize Libram's now a little higher. Mulligan for all their attendance and stuff. First day of school, great. I love this card. That's two more Alder attendants, maybe. Uh, I, I think it's Silver Moon. I hate Wrath, a hammer of. Um, but I, I don't really like this card that much. But if we roll Millhouse one time, then we'll consider it a win. Carnival Barker. What does that card say? When you summon a one health minion. One. Two. Not many. I think it's just Delinquent. I like this card. I think it's interesting. Um, it was earlier in the draft. I think I'd like to try it and hope to get some more synergy for it, but I think Delinquent's just fine. Uh, I like Judicious a lot. I like um, Ogre as well. Let's take the Judicious so we can corrupt the Carousel. Plus, it's just kind of cool. Life steals cool. Oh, chat loves this damn Crab Rider. I'm not a huge fan, honestly. I guess we have the Libram. Hmm. Oh, well. This isn't that good. Let's try it. Maybe we'll get a hand. Probably got to go Celestial here. The card's too crazy. Draw two one attack minions. I really like Christology. I think the card's cool. Uh, it's better if you can get uh, specifically, I think, um, Stonehill Defender. Then I really like it. But we have just a couple of shitters. Oh, I'd still run it. I would happily take it over Senjin for sure. But let's go Celestial because we have the uh, first day of schools. Wouldn't mind a Firefly either, but first day of school is kind of like Firefly on steroids, I feel. Stinkray. No, thank you. Braggart? Oh yeah, Braggart's really good. People draft that card? You have to get 10, I have to stay to watch it succeed. I'm gonna try my best. 
I'm gonna try. This deck looks like it could maybe end up functional. It's close with two, two first day of schools, a vile fiend, celestial. You pick up like one uh, true silver, one vine cleaver, one hand of a doll, maybe. Ooh, Aldor Truth Seeker. All right, we're looking for Librams now. We got the Librum deck. I don't like uh, Showstopper. I think that card's annoying. This is cool. All right, give me a Librum. Oh, wow. Kill me, dude. Gotta, gotta feel bad to pass the Carousel Griffin in our... What is clearly... What was clearly gonna be a Clangor dream. Oh yeah, Tar Creeper and Orc. Yeah, that's true. Those are good hits as well. Kara, Kara, Kara. Good to see you. All right. I'm happy to take either one there, but blessing is just kind of insane, right? Uh, let's go Egg Napper. Need a three quite badly. Authority's too good. I agree. I love this song. I'm taller than all of you. Dude, I just measured myself. Hey, I'm listening to that. Seven inches. Okay, that's not true. Six and a half. <laughs> three inches. Yeah, three inches. Around. Silas was first day of school? Well, you know we're not taking Silas. Everybody understands that, right? Actually, you know what? Let's count the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Honestly, we don't have enough spells to make Yogg work. Six and a half inches of back hair. Yeah, isn't that what we were doing? Yogg is the weakest of the lot, but I wonder which card Reverie's going to pick. I actually don't know. We don't have enough spells right now, Ral. We have the Libram. We talked about it early in the run. Like, you know, this we can just keep churning out, right? If we draw it. Yogg is the weakest. Yeah, Yogg is the weakest by far. Yogg is actively bad. Like, Yogg is not a bad card in a, in a good Yogg deck. Yogg is a bad card. Silas is fun. I find Silas to be lame. Oh look, I'm Redbeard. I gotta take the Yogs. You're not always gonna get a Yog. Come on, this deck's gonna be fine. God damn it. Hey, I promise you. I promise you, Raupu. I will get seven wins, or I will gift you a sub. I promise you. And Yog will be activated once in one of those games. You called, you would take Yog. You have to. I agree. I just need a- oh, fuck me, dude. I need some spells. Give me a spell. All right, I deserve this. I got a couple elementals, though, right? Hey, that's a good card. Okay. Here's the thing. We must, <laughs> we must get Lever of Wisdom in every game or we're completely and utterly pooped. Like, it's nutty regardless of Yogg. I don't know if- it would be pretty nutty with Silas. Let's. It'd be a lot better with Silas, that's for damn sure. Rachel, wow, you're tall. How tall is Rachel? Okay, can we bet on an active Yogg? Will we cast Yogg twice? Uh, we don't even have enough spells to cast Yogg in our deck. How <laughs> are we gonna cast him twice? It's gonna be fun to watch. It's gonna be fun to navigate. I'll find a way. Will we cast Yogg once, I think is fair. Zelda, can you help me out? Oh no, Zelda's on mobile. I'll do it then. I'll do it. Wait, can we listen to that song again? Will red win? Will red, will we summon? Will we cast? Will we cast? Oh my god, is it my turn? Oh fuck. 
when we cast active Yog Saron. I mean, obviously we're going to, so just bet yes. Okay, I want to hear this song again. I think. Uh, what am I doing here? Bunch of dog poo. The queen is 5'10. I'm 5'10. Rose is 6 feet. Girl power is in this chat and I love it. Bunch of tall ladies. It's wonderful. Me going into work on Monday. Standing at 6'3 because I only bought heels. Well, you know what? Probably looks nice. Women make me nervous. Orchard, you're such a wonderful guy. You, sh you, you should make the rest of us nervous. Whoa, pharmacist. Haven't seen that guy in a bit. He was a nice boy, from what I recall. Ariana commented on my YouTube video. I love toes. <laughs> Ugh. No, thank you. All right, how, how close are we to Yogg? We're basically there. What the hell? Where'd he go? <laughs> I'll just try to pick him up. You see that? You went flying. Hey, satisfying duck. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Good luck. Thanks, man. This is our first run of the night. Wish me luck. See, Rager is what they call Redbeard's dingus when he's watching <laughs> BFP. Yuck, dude. You're disgusting. You know that? What's a dingus? I'm afraid I'm afraid we're gonna win before Yogg is active. Me too, bud. I'm afraid Zelda's naming my dingus now. It's what hatches out of a dingus egg. You know? It's a good song. How tall am I? I'm like 5'10. A little taller than 5'10, but maybe a little shorter than these tall, voluptuous, beautiful gals. This is what... This is six mana. Six mana? Has bought us. Do I have good posture? Um, no, no, kind of like, no, uh, no, sometimes I do this, so uh, I feel better when I do it. Oh man, so I, uh, who was here? Who was here yesterday? Was anybody here yesterday? I don't recognize anybody. Yesterday, um, I told you guys that I, I ran out of whiskey a while ago. And then I told my brother, and he's like, oh, I'll, uh... He's like, I'll get some, I'll get some whiskey for you. I'm like, oh, yeah? And he usually forgets everything. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna bug him, you know? And then I went into the cabinet, and he put in, like, a $200 bottle of whiskey. And he's like, oh, yeah, you could just drink that. I'm like, what? But I still put cola in it. Don't tell Artie. I thought about Artie while I was making a drink. Honest man, greater than a good posture man. I think when I'm when I spend time with my sweetie pie, if I ever you know do that again, I'm usually a little what the. I'll be a little better. I'm you know, you know I don't want to disrespect her, looking like a looking like an ex you know express gargoyle. 
Hey, thanks, Cosmic Goat. It's Cosmic Goat. $200 in cola, fuck me. I don't know if it was actually $200. It had a $200 price tag on it, but I don't know. It's a sample from, uh... It's, it had a guy, the guy's name. He's like, this is a sample from, like, Doug Simmons or something. Like, okay. I guess so you don't resell it. Wait, what? Oh, he played the coin. Oh, no. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 okay. That's a mistake. Wife is five foot ten, then red, we'd be compatible kissers. What else would we be compatible at doing? Oh, you know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. Plus two spell damage coin. That's, yeah, that's an error. But I mean, it, honestly, it wasn't even a very good play, even if it, even if it hit. Like if our board was clear and he just ended up coinless with a 2-1 and we had no board there. I don't know if that would have been the, the ticket, you know? Do, 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 do. It's actually a little awkward. Because what I want is the coin, the, the first day of school for the Celestial. But we could also curve out really nice with this. We'll see. Maybe what we do is just coin this. Mm, too many good options. That would happen because I can't reach it. Oh, that is nice. Okay. This is going to be insane. I don't know what's going to happen exactly, but... Actually, if we if we coin this out first, then we won't get Divine Shield here. If we go here first, we'll get Divine Shield here. Hmm. My ex was 5'10", and to this day, I still feel very sad that he was still too short for standing lovin's. Angles are, you know, they're, they're a mysterious thing. I really don't want to take a thousand damage before the game starts. This is a strong opener, so we got to make a uh, an audible to our plan. An audible to our audible. That's going to die. That's going to get pinged. That's going to get panged. Okay, Tom Brady, hey, look. Some of us win Super Bowls, and some of us... I don't know, it's gonna make a joke about, like, super holes, you know, but that's kinda gross. It's kinda gross to refer to parts of the human body as holes, be they butt, or front, or mouth. I need a, a real minion here. <laughs> that's not a real minion. Um, we could try to hold out. It was like that problem where we just couldn't quite do what we wanted. Um, what about ear holes? Lest we forget about ear holes. My dad says my mom has a super hole. I bet he does. I bet she does. And I bet you do too, Llama. How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. Not give a nose or ear the respect they deserve. That is gross. I wish chat was better. I wish they were better than this, honestly. You guys disgust me. What about orifices? Um, yeah, that's good. It's more scientific. I'm sorry, Tamir, I was talking about you. How did you know? Um, I'm, 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 I'm say what? Shut it. Orifices are not regular sized holes, they are pin sized holes. I don't think that's true.
I don't think that's factually accurate. Oh yeah, why did we draft Yogg? What if that was a Silas? That might have been better. We could do that and get what? Something. Or we can play this, 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 hero power. Then he kind of has to flame strike, but flame strike's not that good. You make us join the dog poop in the mouth club. You're not getting high, bro. I didn't. I you guys chose that. I wanted to call you guys the, you know, collection of, you know, handsome gentlemen and well esteemed young ladies, you know, club. But no, you guys wanted to be the dog poop in the mouth club. Wait, why wouldn't he just ping that? <laughs> why would you do that? Oh, internet. Oh, opponents. What are you guys doing? Why not just ping it? A cat is snoring and it's cute. I like cats. League of Extraordinary- what? No, Farmy, no. My arm hurts from my COVID vaccine shot. Well, thank you for staying safe. Thanks for helping keep the rest of us safe. Hopefully you don't get fucked up or anything. Hopefully no, none of us do. And there's a lot of shit at five. This chat has so many scientific minds and we choose to talk about farts. Never change Twitch chat, never change. That's not true. We don't have any brilliant minds. Well, that's not, we have six brilliant minds. Let me re, 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 re assess. We have six brilliant minds here. And I think those six people know exactly who they are. The rest of us, Redbeard included, bunch of dummies. There's six of us here. I think it's very clear. Fart sale win. We could do a fart sale. Maybe one day soon. Maybe the next time Dexter, um, Maybe the next time Dexter visits us, visits us. All right, we just want to, you know. Chat goes talking about farts. I hide the chat and zoom in on Zach's gameplay and or face. So it balances out. Hey, the thing got like really small. I have no flipping idea what I'm talking about here. Bow, bow, bow. Me dumb. Me want fart sale. <laughs> Cosmic. Cosmic farting camel. Camel. Uh, who asked me how I am? Spooter man. Any spooters in chat? Was Zach? That's me. I'm Zach. With a K. Very important. Not that important. I love Julian. Everywhere I go on the on the Twitch website, this character puts a stinking spider there. Like I go and say hi to Dreads, boom, out comes a spider. I go say hi to Crip, Crip starts begging me to borrow some money, boom, Julian's there with a the spider. Zach with a K, not an H, guys, duh. Oh, they just like to torment me. Ooh. Seems like a reasonable play next turn. Zach, his parents were lazy. Hey, 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 come on, be careful. My mom might be here. She's gonna get mad at you like she got mad at Team America. Dude, you don't want that. I don't know who it is you mock, but you always mock someone in a really weird, nerdy voice. Can you do that for a bit? Uh, Redbeard, Redbeard. How's the stream going, Mr. Redbeard? Haven't seen you in a while. 
had a big scoop, Redbeard. Gonna be cookies and milk down at the... <laughs> I don't know. He loves cookies. He loves milk. He can't get enough of them, my friend Dexter. Or is it the Jeremy voice? I was yelling at myself for thinking it was an H. Forgive me. I forgive you, Rachel. Or should I say Jeremy? I was already in your mom's bad books for slapping her. Oh, crud. I remember that now. How, how quickly we forget. Missed one face? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's okay, I was partying down with my friends. Cosmic Fookin Camel. The bit man. What a guy. Also, I just thought about poor Rachel. She said she minimizes the chat every time you guys start talking about stupid crap. You must never get to read chat. That's terrible. Are bits of Twitch currency that stays within Twitch or does it become a donation for you? Uh, it becomes a donation. So let's say like Cosmic donated. I can't see exactly how many there. I can look it up. Um, Cosmic is kind enough to donate in that instance. 777 bits. That's $7.77 for me. But the bits usually cost more for the person buying them than the streamer gets. So Twitch sells them to you. Like, so you can get like, what, like $100 costs you like 120. So Twitch takes a cut and then the streamer gets everything that you donate. So it's a really cool way to help the streamer, but you know, any, anything's appreciated and it's awesome, you know? I don't want to take the damage on this. Next turn we can like do stuff. That's nice. It is very nice when people are able or, or willing to support the channel. It helps me pay rent and it helps me, keeps me off the streets, keeps me streaming every day. Um, and that's awesome because like I said, sometimes I haven't had a job in you know, a long time. All over two years now, almost three years, I haven't had a job. Or this has been able to be my job. Only toots are red special channel currency. Those are the only, those are, that's the only currency I care about. Heart points. God, red bear is beautiful. That's insulting. Remember said you could call for a boner leg sale. Wait, you can? Top D can? I would never want to deny anything to top D. Zacharina? Now I'm imagining when people greet you, they say, hey, Zacharina. And you do a little dance. I do dance sometimes. Sometimes I'm a little dizzy from, uh, from alcohol consumption. But it's a good dizzy, you know? Yum, yum. Eat them up. Which isn't your business. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I don't actually know the rates, Rose, but the rates for bits, uh, I was just estimating. I don't think they're particularly great. The, the more you buy, the better it is. It's a better deal. But sometimes they do promotions where you can get them at, at, the, at a cost. So sometimes, like, I've bought bits at cost so I could support streamers. Sometimes they do promos through different, like Gillette did a promotion where I spent $50 and I got $100 in bits and I gave them to Dreads and Save File and, and my friends at stream. And I thought that was really cool. So. You actually picked Yogg? Yeah. It's carrying us hard so far. Dance the Macarena, please. I try not to lift my armpits above shoulder level because there's bad smells that come out. I don't know where they come from. It must be... It creates some sort of airflow from back 
outside? I don't get it. You're destroying your opponents right now. True, this deck is really good. And we played Blessing of Authority two or three times already, and that card's just really not fair. Poorly designed. What's up? Wow! Sour Patch Kid, everyone! Can't you just give us your Venmo? Um, thank you, Cosmic Hacker. Um, I love Twitch, so I won't say screw Twitch. I think Twitch is wonderful. Now, where, where sometimes they make more money maybe than you might otherwise be comfortable with, you know, maybe they could make less, but... Um, you can do... People can do donations through PayPal, and PayPal takes like 2% or something of like a transfer fee. I also have it set up through Streamlabs where people can donate, and there's actually no cost, um... Through Streamlabs, so if somebody donates ten dollars through there, then then I get ten dollars from Streamlabs. But all of it's awesome, and like the bits and the gifted subs, Twitch takes a cut of, but it keeps the community engaged, and it kind of like gets people chatting, it gets people coming back to the stream, and that's good too. You know, you don't always find a Cosmic or a Tasney or Queen Ariana or Rachel or Zelda, unless you know you have people coming by consistently so. should I just keep that? probably not could almost see keeping them they're so powerful the worst design cards are the ones who are overpowered in arena and never see playing constructed yeah you're probably right I think the worst design cards are the cards that come down early and prevent you like they just end the game Embig and Ganarg Scrap Imp Blessing of Authority uh, these type of cards something like Soul Mirror, it's only kind of broken because you can discover it from certain spells. So you see it more often than you would see a normal legendary, right? But the card, you know, it comes down in the later stages of the game. It's, um, it's not always good. And, you know, sometimes it's unbeatable, but a legendary spell for seven mana, I think, should be strong and impactful. Twitch is owned by Amazon, so they need nothing. Well... That's probably true. If it didn't say this turn on it, would it be more fair? Can't attack heroes? I think it would be more fair, and I think it would be a more interesting card. Um, I think 5 mana for 8-8 eight, eight in stats is already... Like, 8-8 eight, eight with, with Rush, basically. Um, you'd have to have a minion on board, so that's the only condition. I think that's a little uh, too easy. But I think that would be far more reasonable. Cards like Shervara, right, that clear the board, but also put 6 power down... You either can kill it really easily with a Frostbolt, or you can't kill it, and it pushes 6 or 12 damage, or it trades up into your 6 drop. I don't like that. I'm going to hit here. He can go in there, but we don't really have a way to go back into that anyway. A little more manageable. I think it'd be a more interesting card. It would never see any <clears throat> any play in constructed with that text, but it would be a much more interesting arena card for sure. Where trading matters a lot, you'd be paying a big price to control the board, but your opponent would have extra turns to respond to it, right? Because you wouldn't be pushing as much damage as quickly. Could play that, I guess. Bezos made more money in the time it took me to write this sentence than it would cost to run Twitch's servers this month. Uh, scrap it plus two plus two is beyond busted. What is it now? Plus two plus one? Yeah. That, yeah, that was what, yeah, that's what I forget. It came out of two plus two plus two. I remember, I, I think I had like, that was another one of those. Evil Genius when it first came out, I think I had four out of my first five. I think we had four 12s and an 11 in Warlock when Evil Genius came out. I just took every one, every deck had two or three. And we just won like every game. And then Scrap Imp, I think, was sort of the same thing. We just took every Scrap Imp and I was like, oh, like played it once. I was like, oh yeah, this is unbeatable. Just got 12 wins with every deck. Uh, let's see. I want to corrupt this, but I cannot. If I play that, I do corrupt it, but I don't develop much. I'm going to do this and hope for the best, I guess. If he didn't get a... Uh... If he didn't get a taunt, like let's say you just got a whatever, healing totem, maybe we trade there and drop this and then try to follow up with that, but 
Sour man, it's so good to see you. We had uh, foreign sticks here the last couple of days. We had uh, Sour Patch Kid. Gen Z was here, I think, this month. Uh, we, you know. What's next? Tuna Boy? Hey, Red, hope you do well. I'm going to try my best. Evil geniuses get better when you get more. True. True. I think there was an egg, too. I think there was a reasonable egg, maybe. Maybe not. Lurking now. Rachel, have a great night. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for chatting with us. I haven't been in chat for a while. Did you get the 12 wins with all classes? Uh, I don't think we've had a 12 win demon hunter. How many do you have 12 though? I don't know if we have any 12 O's. Maybe one or two. We've been close a bunch. Um, we've had a, a lot of 11 O's to like 12 1 or... I think we actually had an 11 O to an 11 3 even. But I'm not sure actually. I kind of hate going to that page to look at anything because it like fucking loads like shit and looks like shit and I, I, I don't know. Unless I have like a, a quest I completed, I try to stay off that page. I'm missing out on a lot. Missing out. I got a lot going on right now. I hope it's all good stuff though. It doesn't retroactively activate my 12 runs don't count. I don't mind that because otherwise a lot of people that play a shit ton of arena like us wouldn't have anything to play for, right? Like you would just, you know, they turn on the achievements and you'd already have them all done. So I kind of don't hate it. Um, it's actually awkward, huh? It's silly not to play this. We could play this and this, which actually is probably our best play. Or we could just do this. And how many more elementals do we have in the deck? What elementals are we even looking to get? We don't have any left, so if we want a card, we have to play it this turn. That's up plenty to play for, as it's very difficult. In five years, I think I only have two 12 Oh, okay. Oh, all right, maybe it would have just been me. Servant for the memes? I'm not so sure if it is for the memes necessarily. It's like, this game's not ending in a few turns, right? So having an extra card's not the worst. And we could get like a Tar Creeper and play it this turn. It's probably reasonable. Red's so humble. Queenie, are you making fun of me? Queenie, is you making fun of me? Hey, I walked to the card shop to try to go buy some Pokemon packs. Not to open them, just to have them, because I think it's kind of cool. And I got there, and it was a two-mile walk. I decided not to take the streamer Lambo, because I thought it's probably best if I get some exercise. And, um, fuck me, dude. <laughs> He's closed on Tuesdays. Oh, my days. That's a four-mile walk. <laughs> I had to go... You know? Yeah, that's really bad for us. Oh, that's quite bad. Red, play some hyper song, please. Um, What's a hyper song? Alright, I'll play a hyper song for you. But, chat. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I'll queue up uh Okay, hold on, no no okay, nobody listen to this. Okay, that just don't listen to that sound. Disregard this sound. <laughs> don't get too excited for that. Alright, give me a second and then I'll get you your goddamn hype song. Everybody get ready though, I'm, I'm not doing this. You don't have to lie about the card shop, Red. If you want to get healthy, that's cool, man. Wait, I'm sorry, what? What am I lying about? This isn't the hype song. Oh, this song's great. Okay, open up a browser source. Make it visible. Wait, hold on. Oh, you're not supposed to see it. Why didn't it let me hide it? Okay. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that wasn't supposed to start on its own. Oh no. Okay, now you can have it. Just disregard, uh, oh god. Disregard the, uh, the ads. Through OBS, it doesn't run any ad block. That ad, I don't know, what was it for? I didn't even look. Was it for boner medicine or something? Man, they're always giving me damn boner medicine. What's on there? Oh, spores. All right, there's your hype song. But you guys gotta dance. I don't want to talk to anybody right now. Oh, somebody fluted. Why is it like, oh, you know what? It must have been like that before. All right, there you go. Did you just claw machine Eureka? Did you just Eureka claw machine twice? It looks like it. What a cheater, huh? Wait, this isn't the time to talk about Hearth. This is the time to dance. Everybody, he wanted a hype song. And he, oh, a hype song he shall receive. Good morning. How are you? Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Crab rave monster release fucking kill me. <laughs> I'm as awkward at dancing in Twitch chat as I am in real life. Where was your dance move? Oh, you weren't dancing? You just have to hit dance. You could let the blobs dance for you. Alright, I hope you're hyped. I'm sweating over here, man. Oh. oh. Wait, I didn't say. I'm going to add the Eggman to my phone. Create content? Oh my god, it's my turn. I'm just sitting here waiting. Okay. Red, what's up, Dishman? I'll spare you the pain and suffering of my virtual moves. We probably could have sensed, you know? Now play the real hype song. Oh, damn you. Okay, fine. Only because you're my friend. Only. Uh, what's happening here? Crab rave sounds infectious. Yuck. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. What up, Salamancy? That was a bold play, Cotton. God fucking damn it. Wait, why are we saying the G and the F and the D word? Oh, about this song maybe? Yeah. 
Like, God damn, this song is great. I'm telling you, in like a month, Dead Life's gonna see the, uh, like, oh, his, his discography. Uh, Tiny Frog's gonna have a hundred million views. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the hell happened? Bari fan, what up, farty fan? I mean, Bari fan. Morning Red, good morning all. Dawa, Dawali. Maybe I keep that too. I'm gonna keep all this shit. We can go one Hero Power, Coin 4, Day at the Fair, and then just at some point play Hammer of the Nabu. Let's pretend like, um... Let's pretend like, whoa! Cosmic Frog! You should tell him to come to chat? I'd love to. I don't know if he would. Okay, I shouldn't have kept this hand. Oh, we're so fucked. Now we won't be able to coin Silver Moon Portal. I searched that having sex with a woman in coming sound clip in YouTube and found the original video. Now I'm watching a tutorial on how to orgasm as a woman during sex. I'm about to go down the YouTube rabbit hole. <laughs> I respect it. And frankly, I'd like to learn more about this. I'd like to learn more about these transpirings. Sex tutorials are A1. I watched a video one time on how to pleasure a woman. I realized as, as I watched that, that I would never be able to do it, so... I think I started playing Mario Kart instead. Step one, have a big penis. Hey, Cosmic, thanks for the bits. That was a shitload of bits there. Sweet Jesus. But I do like me some tiny frogs. I gotta pick my nose. Uh, we're gonna take four, seven, eight down to seven. How do we ever come back? We could play this. Buff that, get a two. Or we could just do this. Honestly, if I do this, I won't even have enough room to play this to taunt, which we're going to need to do, right? I think we just do this. Hope to roll a taunt here. First, you must inset the pinker into the stinker. Oh my god. Wait, did Queenie say that? Jesus Christ. I didn't enjoy it because it was too painful. Yeah, that can happen. I, uh, whoa, God, is he trading? No. Um, my buddy, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't, uh, uh pursue a healthy relationship with a gal he was dating, um, one time because he had too big of a penis. That's what he told me. But, and I was like, oh, is that real? Do you, I, do, I asked him, I was like, do you really have like a massive dong? And he's like, yeah, you know, I'm cursed with like this huge date, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, no. And then I, I was friends with his ex-girlfriend, who he was still friends with. The three of us were friends. And she's like, oh, yeah, he's got this, like, massive pulverizing meat galvanizer. And I'm like, oh, my God, no, the poor guy. I remember that. I was like, oh, darn it. So, yeah, that is a thing. Oh, Lord, that is a thing. I don't feel like I want to take the damage. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna get like fireballed out. Meat galvanizer. Yeah. Mine is so big. I always tell my girlfriend it hurts her. I like when when ladies tell me I've got a huge one. Well, they don't ever say that. I like when ladies tell me I have a big one, even when I don't. I'm like, oh man, they must really like me. That's a good sign that the that the gal, you know, they care about you. Sounds like such a brag as well. So probably no one takes him seriously. He's such an interesting guy. 
He's a real interesting character. Queenie, teaches Red Arena, teaches Tolkien Lord of the Rings trivia, the pasta sauce whisperer. <laughs> Remember when Queenie, like, uh, just would always have pasta sauce all over? Those were the good old days. Is this friend Big Fat Ian? No, Ian tells me about his tiny penis all the time. He says, because Big Fat Ian's also like 6'8", and he claims that he, you know, he's getting screwed because he, he says he has an average sized penis that just looks really small because he's so big. And you know what? I was inclined to believe him. Oh, I guess I can't play this. Hmm. I would rather play this, I think. Not really sure how we're going to come back this game. I mean, that was a good roll for us, but uh, maybe he doesn't have any burn. We draw a snack run, maybe? Next bet, I'm going all in with farts. Not going to be here for seven days. Oh, no. Rad guy. I'm now watching a video involving a massive hand puppet looking vagina as a demonstration model. Oh no. The only ones I watch are when they, you know, there's real vaginas involved. Big Fat Ian hasn't seen his dong since 2005. God, that guy is so funny. He used to fucking slay me, man. He would always tell me all the problems about being a gigantic man in a, in a regular sized human's world. I couldn't remember them all, but they were really funny, and they involved, like, like, he couldn't use public toilets because his knees would be, like, like, at his chin. And then he'd go to wash his hands at the toilet, and it would splash water all over his, the crotch of his pants. He said he couldn't wash his hands without it just looking like he just walked out of the bathroom peeing all over himself. Oh, man. That guy was so funny. I was talking to him recently. He's a real guy. Any vagina is a hand puppet if you want it to be. Well, if they want it to be. Right? It's not about what you want. Unless it's your vagina. He sounds incompetent rather than just tall. Uh, he smoked like 50 cigarettes a day. And like 100 marijuana cigarettes a day. Unless his wife's watching, then he definitely didn't do that. Um... When we would go out drinking, he didn't really like to drink. He liked to smoke marijuana cigarettes, but we'd go out drinking and the dude would have like 14 Jack and Cokes and I'd be, I would have like two or three. Well, back then I'd probably have like four or five and I'd probably be like, all right, you know, this is pretty good. And then I'd be like, hey man, are you drunk at all? He's like, no, not at all. I haven't felt it. Like, yeah, I don't feel it at all. And the bill would come and he'd be like, all right, I owe $130 <laughs> in happy hour Jack and Cokes or whatever. Not good. Does 6-8 mean you don't know how to wash your hands? He, he was, uh, I would say, more on the side of incompetent as well as just a really just hilarious guy. There was definitely a layer of incompetency to him. Incompetency? You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. I want to play this. I'm going to play that too because we have the 5 and then the 6. Like I'm not going to be able to play that for a while. Uh, Poker Damo, I'm doing well. How are you? The toilets were literally shorter than the normal toilets already. So I can understand his frustration. I used to skateboard inside of uh, the local elementary school. Now, we got permission from the, from the faculty to grind the rails and whatnot. But, uh, they, you know, there was usually one bathroom open and it was always like an elementary school bathroom. And I, I, could, I could sympathize with them somewhat. You know, you'd... Use these toilets that are like six inches off the ground or whatever. You're just like, that name is hard to use. You know? Ryan the rails. Salami slow. Man, my arse is hanging out of my pants. Terrible. I would not sit or smell of this computer chair for a substantial amount of money if I were you guys. Oh man, I'm absolutely completely fucked if uh, this misses. And I am in a pretty dang good position if this hits. Damn it. Damn. 
I hate this game. I'm not subscribed anymore. You know what that means? It's time to subscribe, right? Or you don't have to if you don't want to. Aren't urinals on the floor? That's a long way for her tall Ian's pee to travel, true. It's like coming down from Mount Everest. My chair smells like a 10 wallabies. And 100 kangaroos all decided to stage a coup against the government. <laughs> they do hate the government, huh? Hey, not Ilsop. Thanks for the um, follow, man. Wow. I almost don't believe it. You really come into, I mean, uh, subscribing with Twitch Prime. That's way better than a follow. You needed a hit with confidence. Uh, you know, subsequently, this is. You need to hit it with confidence is something my, some of my ex-girlfriends would tell me. So it wasn't just the average size penis letting them down. It was other things as well, I'm sure. I can't watch for long because I have competitive tennis tonight. But good luck and hope y'all is good to you. I hope so too, man. Thank you so much and good luck at tennis. Good luck, man. I take Steed over Dino. I probably won't have anything on board right now. Man, how crazy. Like, we got dunked so hard for having missed that 50 50. Oh well. But thanks so much, man. I'm gonna hype him up a little. I don't know if you got enough hype out there. Hype 2? Maybe a hype 2? Hype Deuce? Uh, oh, all right. This could be the Yogg game. Just throwing it out there. Got to keep, you know, every turn a spell, a spell, a spell, and a Yogg. I can safely report that my rice got done well. Good. Done good, guys. What the hell? Probably talked about this. What do you think about the upcoming core set thing? I have talked about it. Goodbye, Jensen. It was nice knowing you. Um, what I, I think it's great. I think it's phenomenal. And what I would say is this: I I have been preaching for a rotating core set for for a long time now, and I and I'm glad that they did it. And I don't know if they listened to the community and, and uh, you know, people were talking about how this would be a good idea, but they did it. I'm surprised it took this long, but I'm happy that they're doing it. I think the classic format is going to be largely irrelevant. I can't imagine that people are going to enjoy playing, you know, freeze mage with a bunch of crap, you know, I don't know more than a little while. Again, that'd be a really cool tavern brawl. I just don't see it unless there's a, a tournament um like blizzard invests in a in a competitive e scene which esports scene which they uh haven't they've kind of shown they, they're just not gonna do with their formats they have that are actually established and have fan bases already but um i, I think it's awesome i think it's really good it's never made sense to me that the same cards stick around forever I just don't really understand that. And now it sounds like they're not going to. And kind of, uh, again, it's, it's you know, you're going to see old cards. You're going to be happy when they come back. You're going to see new cards. So you're going to still want cards from that set or you're going to want to craft them. It's going to cause kind of like at least mini rotations in arena, which is awesome as well, in my opinion. It'll it'll be like, oh, well, like, like this mini set. It's like, well, this is an excuse to rotate out three or four sets, but also infuse 30 new cards. I think it's great, especially for somebody like me that plays eight hours of Hurt a day or whatever. Are we going to see Priest without mind control for the first time? Second time, they had that in Arena before. They, they've, they've already done that, and it was, I thought, um, a really cool experiment, and I don't know if that's uh, played a role in their decision to do this, but... Um, 
they they took out the basic and classic cards for an arena rotation i thought it was awesome and then again when they came back i thought it was awesome when they came back i thought it was awesome when they came back so have we drawn yog at all <laughs> we drawn yog like one time i think we won one game i think with yog in our hand oh well win two games in any mode i could do that my family doesn't eat rice often. We eat potatoes way more as a side dish. Both are good. What do you think about the upcoming core set thing, Neil? I'm going to do something for you, Neil, that I shouldn't do. I, sh I shouldn't do this. Don't say I never did nothing for you, alright? I love you, Neely. You disrespected me for the last time. Potatoes. <laughs> I like how Queenie, like, I feel like Queenie's mind just, it just does nothing until she can work in a Lord of the Rings reference into casual conversation. Or stomp some fools at Hearthstone Arena. These are like, that's it. Queenie's like Shazam. But the power word is potato. Yeah, she is like Shazam. She's like Kazam. She's like um, Shaquille O'Neal in the movie Kazam. Tall, powerful, magical. Hey, it's a strip club song. There are f seven of you here that I would like to see strip to this, but a reverse strip and put on continuous extra layers of clothing rather than remove them. Zelda? You're one of them, bud. Me, right? Vacto, I want you to put on a pair of tinfoil pants. I love when the hi hat comes in. Uh, who followed? The Wicker Dan. Wow. Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. Thanks for the follow, bud. It's awesome. The tinfoil pants will match my hat. Hey, that's a damn nice hat you got there, buddy. Are you calling us ugly red? No, I just don't want to see a lot of your guys' genitals. You know? Ever since Zelda told me about his reverse butthole, ugh, I got a whole new appreciation for, for the human's pants. I've got a good feeling. I'm gonna kill these. I mean, one, we got the Schnacky Poo. Two, they get in the way of my ogre. And three, they're just bloodlust and evolved fodder anyway. What's the name of that baseline and kick drum song? Baseline and kick drum song. What the hell does that mean? The song with the baseline and a kick drum in it? I believe it was called White Christmas. Did I help at all? Wow, Twitch chat was right. You bang with confidence and you bang with purpose. You're handsome, Red. Parts of me. Like an Audi belly button? Equally as disgusting. No, I'm just kidding. Those are fine. Where's Cosmic Camel? He's got to be fucking grooving to this. I would have rolled for spell power unless I had Maelstrom Portal. Or, no, I would have rolled. Well, maybe not. Maybe this is safer for him. Yeah, banger. Okay, okay. This is like the ultimate. This is the penultimate banger. What song is this? It's called Black Magic by Maximum Love. Let's do one more Maximum Love track. Let's do two more Maximum Love tracks. Um, slap that. I guess we're starting with a little snacky poo, right? Holy Wrath? Holy Wrath's okay. I don't know. I'm 
I wish you could have got a buff for that. Uh, Saltuck. What up, Saltuck? Is this Tokyo Rose? Hey, Tokyo Rose has that one really good song. At least one. Uh, that song was called Black Magic by Maximum Love. So, I don't have it easily linkable now, but... It's lethal? With Yogg? Or was there a real lethal? Wow, wow. Mm -mm -mm. Well, the rat face. 100% of the time it gets Yogg. I would have liked that. Uh, we have a couple zeros. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken Holy Wrath. Kill me, dude. First day of school. Fuck me, dude. I just have to deal six to that or three. No, two. If I can deal two, it's probably worth it if I deal it there. Oh, that's one off lethal, right? All right. I mean, it's still good. Unless I get a charge. Uh, if I hit here, 610, how does he kill me? I don't know. Is this arena? This is arena, Scorg. I don't like our odds here. Did I play an elemental last turn? I did not, right? No, I played two spells. I got a first day of school off of Holy Wrath the other day. Oh man, it feels bad. I thought for sure I was going to get it. It just felt like that. I hope he doesn't play, but he gets this turn. Okay, sure. Um, hmm. So I think I double trade, and then I play this and get Divine Shield on everything. Otherwise, I guess I could just double push. Um, actually, I don't know then. Uh, depends what he has. We know he has one minion and one unknown and one draw, right? I'm gonna just do this. So not what I wanted. They have the fair for full divine shield board. Yeah. I just like this because if like we're using like it doesn't really matter if he's at nine right i don't think i've seen one of those do anything good for either player myself or my opponent no darn i was gonna get yog out okay one more maximum loves Song. Oh my god, Cosmic, thanks so much for the bits and the support. And I hope you have a good day asleep. Let's do one more maximum love, just one more. This is not maximum love. This is. <laughs> This is not. This was a special request from a real special friend. <laughs> Neil, trust me, I wish I could deny the request. I really wish I could. Y'all think Hearts Arena is helpful for building a deck? I do, actually. I dated a girl with inverted nipples. Oh, I never did. 
My ex-girlfriend messaged me, so I can't sleep. This is why I don't talk to exes. Potatoes. Who requested this shite? I wonder who it could be. Who's a, a rabid Lord of the Rings fan? What's taters? All right, there's something wrong with your brain, dude. <laughs> Thank you. That was totally worth it. Yeah, this song is crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you write about that. When my exes message me, I sleep better. I don't know. I usually block most of my ex-girlfriends. I don't block them, but I just, you know, choose not to get messages from them. Why don't you use her Therina? I realize you know most of the best picks already, but sometimes you get surprised or can't decide. So a couple reasons. One, um, it started uh, it started performing really crap one patch. It was fine, and then it just would like it would crash OBS or it would cause OBS to drop frames. And I didn't know what it was. I was like, oh, what's happening? And then I I turn off the thing, and then I do the draft. I was like, oh, it's good. And I run it again. I'd be like, oh man, it's like dropping frames again. I don't know why the hell that's happening again. You know. Um, so I decided I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. And then uh, I realized I, I don't like when it tells you like, you want this card and it's a 50 and it tells you to take this card, it's like a hundred. And you're like, oh, I can't pass the card they tell me is a is a hundred. So you would just take all the cards they tell you to take. And like, yeah, like you could disagree, but it was kind of like the bucket system. Like if they tell you this card is good and you're choosing to pass it, then you feel bad. So I'd rather just take the cards I like and try, you know, try my best. Wait, Hammy's here? Wait, did I say Hammy? Whichever, you know, lovable Cretan I was talking about, it was, uh, I meant it to be Queen Ariana. Lovable Cretans. If he pings it, I'll be really sad, but I don't want to play a bunch of shitters and then die to Consecration, and I want to be able to corrupt that, so. Man, I really like Maximum Love. I miss having Hammy. Hammy's, uh... Hammy's got a new significant other, I think, and a new job. She works at, like, 5 or 6 a.m. East Coast time. But I too miss having Hammy around. Good double pen fling here. Do I get those back before this? How does that work? Or do I get four of them? I guess we'll find out. I think I get four of them, I'm assuming. I just don't like it. Yeah, me neither. I've been talking to Hammy more since I started casually collecting Pokemon cards. I think she likes having a friend to share her purchases with, which is cool because I like seeing her cards. I like talking to that lady. She's a, she's a good person, I think. Normally I pick X, and even though Y does not fit in our deck, I still suggest you pick Y. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I think that those drafting tools are, are very valuable for people who don't have a good evaluation of the card's power level. It's a good learning tool. And even when you want to take the card that they don't want you to take, I think that's useful as well, because you can see what they value and why. Whereas for me, it's like, I get why they value what they value. They build a really tempo-oriented deck, which is smart, because if you're not a great player, you're going to want to curve out. So you don't lose as many games to just not drawing well or messing up your mulligan. It, it kind of, you know, makes it a little more streamlined for you. But sometimes it's more fun for me to take a Yogg than a Silas or a, you know, a Palm Reading or a, or a Thought Steal over a five, six, seven. I can't kill it. It's actually kind of uh, concerning. Um, but Hapa Bear... Thank you so much for the raid, Blitz Freeman. Hap, are you, are you, what rank are you on the leaderboard? I played Arena. Oh, how did you enjoy it? I didn't, I thought you were playing uh, Battlegrounds. 
I know Redbeard took your comment seriously, but I lolled. Was that a joke? Was his a joke? Have I made a mistake? I enjoyed it. It was so weird. Wait, Ungoro's back. You love Ungoro. Everybody loves Ungoro. <laughs> Did you see they're gonna... I mean, I know you've been kind of hard into... Oh, that's unfortunate. I know you've been hard into Battlegrounds, but did you see um, those those Hearth announcements? They're going to get rid of the basic and classic sets and then put in a rotating core set. That's cool, I think. I think that's really neato. I just got hit by BGH. That was unpleasant. Kind of made a deck to prove a point that I was going to find it boring, but I ended up playing out an entire run. Yeah, so there's going to be like... I believe in the next expansion, which I think they've slated for... They're going to try to get it out in Mar <clears throat> March, but they don't have an ex a specific date. But I think what they're going to try to do is March, phase out basic and classic, and then I think introduce the rotating set, the new set, and then probably, I'm assuming, do another arena rotation. My god! Arena, most popular game mode. Demonara, good to see you. Pokey t as well. may or may not also be a, po a pokey place well you know i'm happy to have him and you and everyone really um libram just doesn't do a lot for us right now against 100 one ones oh so it's oh my yog okay or maybe it's eye for an eye. Probably not. Arena's fun, I think, but I usually don't do too well. It takes practice, for sure. Pokey's responsible for 200 more people than me. Well, anybody that sticks around, I appreciate. I appreciate either of you guys thinking of me or him thinking of you. And I, you know, I hope your stream went well and you had a lot of fun and, and the like. I certainly do. Eight spells left. Oi, oi, oi. What if this had been a Silas? I could get a real minion. I mean, we know it's Yogg, right? What if I just, like, trade, trade? Yeah, maybe that's fine, actually. We'll just wait an extra turn. Camel with the 888 fucking bits. What the hell? Thanks so much, man. Uh oh. How many did he get back? I wasn't looking. Oh, fuck. Alright, we need this to cast Brawl. I guess we can wait a turn. Four, eight. One goes in here, I'm sure, right? Four, seven. Yeah. I have to triple trade there? Yeah, I guess that's fine. We should gain a lot of life. Probably. Feels bad, though. You can kind of see why he wasted all that damage, because he's just got infinite value right now, right? Blessing changed into Bloodlust. Easy GG. Am I dead? Oh my god, 7, 10, 13, 19, 24. Fuck me, dude. What a life. One draft to pick priests and got Yashraj and Clowns and it felt good. That is cool. Your brother calls you Megamind because you have a massive head? Like, you like a lot of thought capabilities? Or, um... Or like your skull is large? Uh, I don't know. Silas would have been better. <laughs> Silas would, I don't know if Silas would have been enough. Rocketeer's pretty good 7-2, yeah. That was good. What do I think about putting in a rating system for Arena? I think it could be good, maybe. Uh, they should have a score that doesn't affect your matching, your matchmaking. So you could just have, like, like what they should do is have a score like an MMR system, like, but, but it doesn't affect your matchmaking, whatever, because people like scores. What they should really have is a tournament mode and a leaderboard in the client. Four Battlegrounds, four Standard, and four Arena. And the fact that they don't is asinine. Magic, I always talk about it. Magic the Gathering had that shit 20 years ago. 
20 years ago, you could play the world's crappiest client and see what your score was in limited and constructed and a combination of the two. And you could see how many drafts you went undefeated in. Hearthstone could track seven win runs or 12 win runs. Ideally, would be the easiest way to just... how many? Who's got the most 12 win runs in a season? Who's got the highest average? You could calculate that and put that out every two months. I don't know. Magic phased it out. People felt bad because the rating was low. True. But did Arena have an MOR system? Never, no. But I think it's asinine that Battlegrounds doesn't have a leaderboard in the client. And I think it's asinine that Standard or Wild don't have leaderboards. Like, I can't see who the legend number one player is unless I go to some external website click a button, scroll through servers, and then scroll through game modes to try to find who's on the legend rank, whatever. Silas would have been better because you would have played a different opponent since you would be 8-0 <laughs> instead of 7-1. Good point. Uh, yeah, that's a good point there. Um, I guess I'm doing this, or I could hero power. Uh... Actually, you know, let's do this because if we get like a blessing, it's so good. You know, I don't want... Oh, God. I was supposed to play that. That was the whole point. Well, that was a mistake. Arena costs. If you see how bad you're doing, you probably won't do Arena anymore. Well, you probably know how bad you're doing when you don't have any gold. But I think they should monetize Arena better. I think they should monetize Battlegrounds better. I think they should monetize Standard better as well. Or differently. Standard's too expensive. Arena and Battlegrounds are too cheap. Now, don't tell, you know, Twitch chat I said that because, you know. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. We'll go 6-7. And if we get the 3-mount uh, of 4-5 dormant, then maybe we have a zero-cost activator for it. But I think that it's dumb that they don't have ways to incentivize you to spend more money. They have a lot of, I mean, again, maybe they know better than me, but they have a lot of external cosmetics, which maybe they make a shit ton on. But I've never bought one ever, except the Nazoth one, but only because I stream and only because it was part of the pre-order, right? Like, I don't give a fuck about cosmetics. Tax Battlegrounds? I, I think they could, they could make... Like, the argument, like, oh, they don't support X or Y because it's not profitable is asinine, I, I think, as well. Find a way to take more of my money. I'd, I'd happily give it to them. People weren't playing so they could sit on their ratings for invites. There would have been another solution, like keeping ELO but not letting it determine anything. Exactly, because people like scores. Now, the way they determined invites after there wasn't much incentive for the e ELO system was to give you qualifier points for every draft you did. And the qualifier points could allow you to enter the monthly tournaments, and the monthly tournaments qualified you for yearly big, real competitive tournaments if you did well in those monthly tournaments. So that's all you have to do. So every draft you do, every time you go 12-0 or 7 wins or whatever, you get a qualifier point, and you have to get 15 or 30 in a month, and then you can play in a monthly arena tournament where you just draft a deck and you play against other arena players. Even that would be fine. Very simple. It's asinine the word of the day. It's the word of the millennium. $25 for skins is whack. Yeah, that seems odd. Although I usually they charge like 20 bucks or 15 bucks for one, I think. So. Chalky would come play arena again. I think you'd get a lot of people that don't play arena to play multiple game or people that play multiple game modes casually to play. Like, I find it hard to believe that like whatever like dog wouldn't play a, a constructed tournament like wouldn't wouldn't want to compete in a tournament st structure like that i just i find it odd I, I find it like i said i find it difficult to believe that you wouldn't get crip playing arena if there was a big arena tournament put on by blizzard in the client with a big cash prize and you scrap this grand masters format or just whatever did something in addition to it and let people continue not caring about that. He's burning out on BGs now? Yeah, but Dog gets burnt out. I watch a lot of Dog, and I don't know the guy personally, but it seems clear that Dog gets burnt out when there's not a competitive incentive for him. Because he's the best at everything. So how often, like, I was watching him today, and I was like, how many times does this guy need to, like, 
get Light Fang on turn five or Bran and just destroy everybody before it, he's going to get bored of it, right? Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It just seems like an inevitability for the guy. But if there's a big tournament where, you know, somebody can get lucky and beat him. Then he's probably going to want to come back and play again and beat them with his skill, you know? The ability to have an interesting conversation with a smart lady is more important than the size of her breasts or butt. That is a fact. I mean, different people prefer different things. I would agree with you, but a lot of people aren't capable of having an interesting conversation themselves, let alone with another person, right? Like, but I, I would much rather talk to a human being. Personally. Wait. Is he dead? Three, four, five, six, seven. Give me Yogg. Never lucky. Anyway, I, I like getting on the Blizzard rant. Oh, it's taking mushrooms again. <laughs> it's supposed to go in your mouth, in your in the portobellos, in your pasta sauce. Not in your butt mixed with the Flintstones chewies. I also think more than good conversation, being comfortable in shared silence without feeling awkward or feeling pressured to fill the silence is more important. Again, people have different preferences, right? Some people like to chat all day. Some people like to listen. Some people like to just chill out. I think a uh, combination of the two is probably what I would prefer. What is this? This is a, another Maximum Love track. This is really good. I like this one. Kind of nice. I've heard someone chatting because I like to listen more to the talk. Well, you and I would make a great, uh, you know, make great sex partners. Some people like to watch. Some people like to watch. I'm going to ditch that. I think that's fine. This is the Yogg game, by the way. We just got to keep, like, chugging that out. <laughs> what the fuck? I got hacked. Remember when that kept happening to me? I really feel like the odds of that are different than what they say. I don't like small talk. I have a habit of finishing people's sentences if I know what they're going to say. I swear I'm rude. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, God. That's a good card in that class. I'm the video pause and I'm just reading chat. Wait, you can't hear me then? What a disaster. All right, let's hope he plays a weapon, doesn't swing. No, swings once for no reason. How many Augs this run so far? Zero. But this will be the Yogg game. I promised Neil, I promised Raupu that I would, that I would cast Yogg and get seven wins. That was the price that I, I had to pay in order to justify taking Yogg over um, Silas. Oh, that's not that good, although it's kind of good. Um, if he plays a weapon, this could be fine and dandy like lemon candy. Don't bring me into this. You like this song? This could be the game with early Lieberman Yogg. I hope so. I'm gonna try. I'm not sure if this is like the right play or not. But maybe. Give this man a weapon. Give that man his weapon. All right, I want an Aldor uh, attendant. Aldor attendant in this, and then we can start churning these out even faster. Darn it. Um, I think that's probably better. Let's play a minion. Kind of relevant. Uh, who followed? Oh my god, Saint Hero. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. 
And yeah, we got raided by um, Pokey Plays and a combination of Pokey Plays and uh, uh, Happa Bear. So, you know, much love to those guys. Check out their channels if you haven't already. Oh dear. You notice we have a Libram. That's a that's a maybe. Oh, he's got the life steal. I guess that kind of makes sense. Five, four. Yeah, it's probably safer. Ten years ago today, the price of one Bitcoin was one dollar. Dude, you should have bought a thousand of them. Given me six. Have you actually cast enough spells to activate Yogg in any games? No. This will be the game. Come on, yes, boys. Do it for Orchard. Do it for Amuse Parrot. Wait, he didn't bet. He always bets yes. He probably wasn't here at the start. Ten mana seven five. People clap. Hey, it's gonna be a seven five. Lose us the game. <laughs> All right, settle down, Jimmy. Settle down, Jimmy. Should I save this? Nah, let's just do this. We're gonna kill him before the damn yog. I need him to uh, cycle of hatred us. That would be a dream come true. Paladin is OP right now. We have a good Paladin deck for a change. We've had some real stinkers. Wow. That's not cycle, but that's damn good. Who's Jimmy? What's Yogg at? We need six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is horrible. I need him to get better. Oh, good. Draw all his soul fragments. Hope we have that pre nerf Jaina portrait in classic. I doubt it. They said they're not going to bring back Succubus. They're going to keep him as a uh, Fell Stalker. They said, um. Um. The, the cosmetic things aren't going to change. But I agree. Pushing too much. I'm trying to trade now. I'm showing him. Look, I'm not putting it on the thing. We have to make sure we can still win. And we have to get him down to 10 so that we can, um, so that we can yog. And, and it will, even if it casts Pyroblast, it'll still probably work out for us. Ooh, that's sick. I don't know what that does. Maybe not the most efficient way to do this, but it does um, allow us to go Yogg probably if we just don't push too much damage and don't scare him off too much. What if people who are wealthy for no reason haven't amassed and inherited generational wealth, but rather they went back in time 10 years and bought $100 worth of Bitcoin and time traveled? Technology does exist, but it's explicitly for the wealthiest people to abuse to amass more we amounts of wealth. That could be. I traveled through time twice, so. Do not. Do not give up. You will be the winner. I assure you. I won't attack. If he doesn't, I won't attack. Think the 8 is going to make him concede? No. Never. You're already time traveling at the speed of light. Oh, what? All right, now we death wings and then we yog and we're good. For the love of God, don't concede. All right, All right that's it. That's it. Spin the damn wheel, Redbeard. <laughs> awesome. Pretty good.
Welcome, my devoted. <laughs> All right, pay out the yes, boys. No boys, punch in the air. That was underwhelming. It killed his whole board, basically. All right, we got a Yogg in our nine win Paladin. And that was better than Silas on that particular turn. I'm just throwing that out there. Wait, was it? Probably still not better than Silas. Goodbye, yellow brick farts. Top D's. I don't know. But that's what you get for doubting, Top D. I told you, never doubt me. Whoever invents time travel will violate the second law of thermodynamics. What does Homer say? Yeah, and this perpetual motion machine she invented just keeps going faster and faster. Listen, uh, little lady, in this house we obey the laws of thermodynamics. That's what the speed of light is, the rate at which everything travels. I don't think that's true. The reason why time seems to slow down when you approach the speed of light is that you're traveling more in the other three dimensions and thus less through time. Okay, maybe you're right, but also, what the hell did you just say to me? Who the fuck said this chat doesn't have brilliant people? Wait, where's a, where's a real mathematician? I need somebody to verify this. The second law of thermodynamics is simple. Farts. Hey, Odlin, have a good night, dude. You're gonna go to bed now? Right before the 12 win Yogg game? I'm a physics student. Yeah, I don't know. That I think that I think that was um I took that last message potentially, potentially as uh, just unmitigated gibberish. Is that just me? Second law is the entropy of a system always increases if I recall correctly. Write it down. Put it on my tombstone. Whenever I'm going for my daily jog at the speed of light, time does seem to slow it down. <laughs> That's good. That's a good joke. You're not that fast. And running sucks. Hmm. Disaster. I guess I could bop it. I'm not even going to be able to kill him. I don't have a hand. Oh, well, maybe five. I guess I have to play the Taunt next turn. Oh, I can play the Taunt and then give it Divine Shield. And then I could bump in and then give that Divine Shield too, right? Theoretically. Cannot be created nor destroyed. Wait, didn't we hear this song already? Oh, it's on the album. Alright, we'll play it one more time because it's the last song on the album. You do not talk about thermodynamics. That's a good joke. You guys are getting some good jokes in. Taz is running joke. Blitzes. Yo, I'm stretching my legs. Don't mind me. Oh, my fucking bones hurt all the time. I, I just have this constant notification on my phone that Queen Ariana commented on my most recent YouTube video saying, I love toes. That lady's got fucking... You got something going on. Oh, is he trading? Okay. Uh, so be it. Wow, wow. Um. People who like toes also like toenails. Well, Queenie, if she's still here, will let us know. I'm a rush. It's like really uh, another great game to get the uh, Libram, right? Just perma, perma Libra va Libram value. Fuck. Fucking hate this card. I swear, I don't think I ever beat that card. 
comes down. Cards don't really do anything. This card sort of does something. I could take 11. I don't think I take 11. Run that in. And then I can kill one of them. Ah, uh, no, just the toes. So if the, if the toenails fell off, would they still be good? Darn it. Uh, I need a um, five mana. Whoop. Give me a big old, big old minion now. Five mana, make a big, not, uh, big nasty boy. Didn't get it. It's slap trade. Kind of sucks. I guess I don't have to trade. Oh, it's a nice little shrink-a-dink there. All right, let's roll here. Wow, Osric's not bad next turn, huh? A 510? Yeah, we might want the taunt. All right, let's give him the old shrink-a-dink. And then I guess we're playing this. And taking less. And trading one of those off. All right. Wickety-whack! Yeah, I think it's a good idea to do that. That seems great. Okay, slap. Slappy, slappy. Ooh. Wow. This would be so good to get down. We could try next turn, though. Um, but thank you so much, Wickedy. That's very kind of you. And good advice. I would advise against drinking alcohol before a professional interview, but on another note, could be okay. That's fine. That's fine. Wow, we might beat a Tar Creeper. Maybe we might beat a Tar Creeper into a Blessing of Authority. Fook me. Uh, let's see. That's always happening. I suppose this should probably always happen. Which means what? I give him a 2-2. Two -two. I play that, uh, which would allow him to kill my Osruk. Otherwise, I guess I could just play this. Uh, really want to get that down, but it's a lot less. It's a lot less. Oh well. Play Junior. I think the right play might be Stormwatcher, just because it lets us clear a lot of this board. Like that might actually end up saving us more health, depending on what he plays. In the long term, or in the short term. In the long term, if this lives, we might gain more, right? We have to get like two hits, probably. But if you're not going to put Junior down there, it's just going to be so hard to ever get it down, right? You're going to be three turns away from attacking with it. That's tough. And we have a lot of value in our hands, so gaining life and prolonging the game is in our best interest, I think. But we also have a, you know, a difficulty doing two things here, right? Like... Guess this actually just works out better. Oh, this is fine. So yeah, we should be fine now, right? Like it's gonna be tough for him to come back from this. So we can do this and this. Hmm. Oh, Jane's here. Hi, Jane. Redbird stream is you home. <laughs> Okay. You should cosplay as a character from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, I've never I've never really got into Rocky Horror. I was friends with a gal. She loved Rocky Horror. And she'd always like, oh, let's go to Rocky Horror. I'm like, I don't know, man. I like to wear a dress inside the privacy of my own home. You know? I don't know. It was a tough game. Yeah, what happened there? I think he made a mistake, right? He that turn we played the five five. I think he should have, based off of how he played the next two or three turns, he should have just traded off our five five with his with his uh tar creeper, right? Because it didn't end up like he didn't really get that close to killing us. It didn't look like he had a lot of pressure, and then he started trading. But we did play a six six taunt. 
and give our entire board Divine Shield after that, but I guess if you're hoping we don't play a Taunt, then he could have pushed face the following turn, but I don't know. It seemed like based off how that game played out, he probably should have just been trading. Uh, Stonewood, what up Stonewood? If anybody else is having a good time, sometimes I forget. If you want to hit the follow button, that would help me out a lot. We got a YouTube. Uh, we just did our first ever Twitter giveaway. I'm going to do another t another Twitter giveaway. I think I might do it over the weekend, Friday or Saturday. Maybe for these skins or maybe for the uh, the mini set. I probably, sh you know, it's not as relevant now, but I'm sure people would be happy to have, you know, some packs, right? I met a man who wore kilts. And he would manspread. When he sat, and let's just say his kilt wasn't quite long enough. I think it's against the law to show your genitals like that. I think. This is not very good. That is very good. Will we cross a thousand viewers today? Uh, I doubt it, sincerely. We got a big host from small Hapa. And we're at, let's see. Has Evanito visited us today? No Evanito today. No visit from our dear sweet Evanito. I guess there's a possibility of Mr. Evanito comes and says, hello, howdy, doody, redbeard. Maybe then. Probably not without a host. Usually you don't see 100 or 150 extra viewers in a night, you know. Uh, my dad wasn't too pleased he sat across from me being that I was a minor. Oh, God. Not good. Gonna need some pen flinger action. This is pretty good. We could kill this guy now. I guess we should. That card is just a menace. It's funny. It, it kind of like... It still kind of wrecks us, even when we deal with it. We don't play like a 3 and a 2. But if he rolls a healing totem, we just never kill that thing, right? So. How'd the Pooh Mage go? Two wins. We lost to a Deathwing into a top-decked Fire Plume. And I think we win that game if um, either one of those two things hadn't happened, but still. I, would, I, was, I was really feeling three wins for that deck. I was going to say, gosh darn it, we did it, you know? Hmm. Interesting. He could still have a Hex, right? Legendary. Um... If he had the 6-6 six, six that copies itself, he would have played it that turn, right? I think so. Could do this. This is going to last a little while. And I don't really like putting down this plus this. Maybe we just... Nah, you know what? Let's just go here. He gets an extra turn to draw. He's going to get one of those at some point, I'm sure. Can you do? I've already seen 50 dicks by then. Oh dear. A lot of dicks. I don't think I've seen 50 dicks. I'm a 33 year old man. Oh, what the fuck? This song's really nice. Bum 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 bum. You go to more steam rooms i actually don't like steam rooms you're treating us today red i it just kind of happened this way and i you know i didn't go back the other way you know what i mean i sure wish he didn't roll taunt any other uh totem is good for us because we just at least remove power now we're kind of at the whim of this draw that wasn't the draw oh well I mean, it's good for next turn if uh, some of this shit is trading with us, but... What about saunas? Yeah, I don't like that. 
Yeah, it's hard to breathe in there. It's too hot. I usually just feel super dehydrated. I like sitting in the jacuzzi, but even that, sometimes I'm like, oh, like, you know, enough is enough. I need another taunt here. I need like a three mana taunt. The trade first. What does that do? I guess nothing. Eh, not the worst. Dick pick culture so bizarre. What's the logic? Second, how can you even think your dick looks good? That look like weird vegetables people make fun of at the supermarket. Uh, I mean, I've dated some ladies that, you know, have requested to see my penis. So in that regard, I think, you know, you know, after we've been dating, they're like, hey, send me that, that hog and, you know, let's play around with it later. I'm like, oh, okay. I hope I'm not dead here. That'd be a disaster. Show hog, Queenie. There's only so many angles I can send before, you know, it just becomes redundant. I can, I guess I could really maybe get a les to start photoshopping them. Go through some sort of impressionist period, maybe. All right, all right. How many till your hog is active? Only eight more, so not too much. I've known some women who liked the way dicks look. For sure, some. I wouldn't personally send a picture of my penis to a random person, you know? Um, gosh. That ju uh, I guess the, um, the junior is not really that good, because you're just going to get chomped there anyway. I think I'd rather look for a card. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, that's good. How many more to the hog is active? Yog eight. Hog, let's just say two. Two more. Uh, don't call me Buttbeard, Shirley. Hmm. It's a bit of a problem. A bit, I suppose. We could double trade now. I guess, right? We're gonna... We're not pushing damage to kill him. We need the Libram, and then maybe we can get Yogg off. I can't be good. Hmm. I think keeping an extra thing is good. Take a little damage, waste a little damage, but to keep a 1-1, one, one, if it lives for two turns, if it lives next turn and the turn after, we get the same amount of damage. But if we use it to trade like a totem or something, it's probably still better. Good morning, Sazlik. Uh, Sazkit, cold bad. Good to see you guys. My cousin once told me she got a pickle pick that was so big it couldn't be contained in one picture. She put two oranges side by side and two XL Rice Krispie treats and said that was comparable. That's too big. What happened here? How did I just get dunked so handsomely? Uh, 
Uh oh, was that his top deck? Holy shit, man, we were in such a good spot. Um, come on, Yog, get me my Libram. This Malagos just farming us, dude. Jeff had a big dong, but Red Ghost did. That's true. I was tired of his big dong. Three, trade, trade. Three, trade, 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 buff, trade. It sounds inconvenient to shove into pants. This is why I don't wear pants anymore. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's awkward. Oh, man, I feel like this guy's rolling hot. Like, I'd prefer, uh... I could have pushed that 9 there. I guess I could have with Pen Flinger. Fuck me, dude. I think we're gonna lose now. Oh, we only drew one spell? And it was a one mana torrent? That's fucking disgusting. But he has another one in there that draws nothing, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna ping here, depending on what we roll. Avenging Wrath. What is Commencement pull? Bunch of dog shit. Oh my god. An absolute abundance of dog shit. I am destiny. I don't know if I've ever tagged for this card. One guy sent me a picture of his freshly waxed bum hole. Oh my god, that's gross. And also, you know, maybe more respectable. You know, look, look, betrayed by his own thing. I am destiny. There seemed to be no reason to kill the totem. The spell power? Mmm, so that he doesn't, uh... cast Guidance into double uh, Lightning Bolt and kill you, of course. What a game! We did our best. Well, Wind Echo, it's at least 11, Innie. Time to queue up. <laughs> Wait, no, Queenie, I'm at, I'm, I'm at 11 and 2, not 1 and 2. <laughs> Boom, roasted. So good at arena. Are you making fun of me? You bet for 12? Sure. We'll make it like a two minute bet or whatever so you guys can't see the opener. We cast, wait. Did we already pay out? Wait, is I, no, I can't do the bet. Did we pay out the Yogg already or no? Did, is this a new Yogg bet or the old? I don't like fucking up the uh, farts for you guys. Never got paid? Okay. I'll pay it out and we'll just bet on the next one. Will we cast active Yogg. Yes. We did. Warrior? It's a good opener. At least it's not Ganarg, right? Hmm. Oh my god, 388,000 fart points going to some, some criminals. Wow, we're going to be able to do that. We got to have a good turn here, and then I'll be happy. I'm less happy.
Damn, so close. So good turn. If I cast the Libram on the Penflinger, I don't get the Penflinger back, right? Or I don't get the Libram back? Easiest bet of my life. Yeah, I'm happy for you. How many times have we popped Yogg? Uh, once. We played Yogg once, activated, once unactive. Oh my god, did he leave that up? Oh, now that's a whole new problem. I could play this. I could just play the Blessing now. Oh, that's pretty good. Why did he not kill that? Let's get Divine Shield. Yeah, it, it would have got it. Which is crazy. That ain't it. Could play the uh, Aldor and the Libram and the two three on the the Libram probably on the two three, but this is just like a menace, right? Wow, he's just dead if uh, that doesn't hit the six three. Six, twelve, fifteen. Paladin Gladiator, oh no. Don't tell me that's our first 12 win with a Paladin. Whoops. All right. You know the, you know the MVP. Yeah, he played poorly. What mix is this? This is just an album by uh, Maximum Love called Under the Shadow. And the last one was called something else by Maximum Love, I forget. Imagine going 12 wins. Blessing of Authority into Hammer of Naru is brutal. Can't remember when I last drafted a Paladin with a single buff. Yeah, those were, I mean, the hard carries. But he, uh, I mean, he made that big mistake leaving up an extra minion against the Dormant with spell power plus going into Blessing of Authority.